Hello everyone, this is Timer Otter, and I have a new set to show you. But the weird thing is about this set, it is Firo and Skirmix, but the catch is, I did not spend a cent on him, and I kind of uh, made it a different color. As you can see, here he is, but instead of being red and black and gray and all those other colors, he's mostly silver. And I also made a new little bone hunter. Let me just take him off, get him out of the way. Nothing new with the bone hunter, you know. Mask from the Agori. I gave him fingers and the sword that glows in the dark. Whoop de doo. Okay, now on to the bigger set. Um. I'm probably going to get this later on, like maybe March 2nd, the official set. I'm not sure though. That's I don't really care if I do or don't get them. Because what I see from this build is a very icky looking build. So, um, we got Fenrak's head, usually red. And then we have the jaws. These tiny, tiny arms. I'm guessing T-Rex arms. But my Torin arms, I mean, there's no mobility in them, no joints. This is the only thing it can do. I'm pretty sure T-Rex could do a lot more than just this. But a uh, very horrible idea for this arm, very lazy. Overall, the head, I think, is pretty cool. A unique kind of build. Cool jaw, like the crown. I wish there was other teeth, like upper teeth. And then body. Just imagine this all being red, pretty much. We also have that game. And uh, on the side, we have the arms. And then on the bottom, these uh, bottom body. And the legs, pretty cheesy. I did not like these legs at all. I mean, where's the armor plate on these? It's bare. And the tail? Right there. Nothing special. Um, the one thing I did like about this is it was not a very old design that we've seen from former Titans and Warriors like Axon and Brutaka and Hydraxon and even Tuma. They all kind of looked the same, in my opinion. And, uh, this guy has a different kind of build. I mean, very different. We have a Matoran body up here that holds his neck and his arm together. And, of course, this body design has never been seen before. So, uh, I'm sorry, I have a really bad cold. But, uh, uh um, pretty unique. The only thing bad about it is, uh, it's just not a lot of pieces, A has a little Matoran that rides in, not a bigger guy, not like an advanced Skrull army or something, but uh, kind of a cheesy build, very poorly done. I mean, I like the idea of it looking like a dinosaur, but uh, other than that, I mean, not not the way everyone was hoping it would be. Tuma was a is a good looking set. I I like Tuma personally. This guy, I I really I haven't had him. I really feel like he's a set that I really don't need. Might as well just be. If you're gonna be saving, a, if you want to spend your money on him or Tuma, I highly recommend Tuma than this guy. And if you have Tuma and you want to think about him or save up money for summer. I'd save up money for the summer because this set isn't really worth 20 bucks. But on the other hand, it is a special edition, so if you're a huge collection, binacle collector, um, I'd run in quick and get him before he's out. Like Nocturne and Mutran and Icarx and my favorite binacle that I miss completely, Karzani. They go and they never come back. I mean, you can still see Toa Murray in stores, but you don't see... Karzani, which is really sucky. But uh, other than that, this is the end of my review.
together I'll give them a 5.6, maybe a 6 out of 10. Not a very great set, even as my own design is being silver instead of red. But uh, I will have an official review once I get this set, if I ever do. Probably for my birthday. But uh, this has been a little miniature review of my sneak peek preview of Firo and Scaremax. Thank you for watching.